on the agenda? Um, what constitutes a, a high quality teacher to you? Someone who's, you know, highly effective and what, what does that look like? So impact lays it out very, very clearly. But here's what I will say. Um, I think the number one criteria is teachers who are able to move their students' achievement. Um, we have lots of teachers who students have fun with and who are charismatic and who parents like. Um, but when I talk to high school students, they know which teachers they really learn from and which teachers they don't. And so teachers who are able to actually teach children and there's some measurable um, you know, outcomes that you can actually see that children have grown from when they started to when they finished with that teacher, that's the number one piece of being a highly effective teacher. Now, there's, all, there's lots of things that go into that, um, but I think that's the number one thing. And do you measure it by test scores? Like, are test scores used? I guess throughout the year to measure student progress? So test scores are part of the equation, but not the whole equation. In fact, only about 13% of our 4,000 teachers teach a tested grade. So if that was it, then we'd only be able to measure a small group of our, our teachers. We actually believe that there are multiple measures for student achievement. And for the vast majority of our teachers, the teachers and the principals sit down at the beginning of the year and figure out what, what are, how are we going to say our kids have moved. So it could be a portfolio. It could be lots of things. But the teacher and the principal decide. It could be just grades and, and tests in class or whatever. Um, but there are multiple measures through which you can engage around student achievement. So when you're recruiting teachers and administrators, do, you, um, do teachers who have a history of producing high test scores from their students, do they get any sort of preferential treatment? That is a great question. So for a long time, um, people who were new to teaching would come to Washington, D.C., and we'd hire them because we love new teachers, and um, they'd stay here for two or three years and then, you know, would uh, invariably be attracted away to other school districts who pay more than we do or where the environment is not as tough as here. And, and um, I think we decided probably about a year and a half ago we need to go after not just brand new teachers, but teachers who actually have a proven track record of success. Teachers who've been great in other places, and just like other people come here and steal our great teachers, we need to go steal their great teachers because that's what our students deserve. And so we've shifted our recruitment efforts over the last year and a half to really go after teachers who have a lot of experience, who have been in other school districts, and who are excellent and have a record of that performance. So that's a little bit about the contract with the Washington Teachers Union allows you to do, I know, something along the lines of merit-based pay. How is that going to work? So I think the, the contract with the Washington Teachers Union allows us to do two things. First of all, it will make us the highest paid, um, it will give us the highest paid teaching corps, maybe not in America, but close, at least in this region. And so we wanted to make DCPS attractive enough so that the best teachers from everywhere are like, I want to go there. And high salaries help to do that. Um, the, the performance pay piece is um, something that we heard a lot from teachers about. So our great teachers were like, you know what? It sucks that I'm a great teacher and I get paid the same as somebody who's not so great. And we were like, yeah, that makes sense. And nowhere in the rest of the world, if you do an awesome job and you outperform everybody else doing that job, you get a bonus. And our teachers were like, when I do an awesome job, I'm satisfied. My kids have learned, but it'd be great to get a bonus. <laughs> um, and so we felt like that was incredibly reasonable. And we piloted a bonus system with the team awards. I don't know if you've heard of the team awards, but for two years now, we've given big checks to schools where they've been able to make big increases on their test scores, because that's the most objective measure that we have. Um, and literally, we've given the principal $10,000, every teacher $8,000, um, support staff, $4,000, and even down to cafeteria workers and 
and security guards, $2,000, because we feel like when a whole school moves 20 points, that means everybody is involved in helping the kids do better. And so when we started giving out those checks, teachers were like, woohoo, right? And nobody said, oh, I don't want this bonus money. <laughs> um, people felt like they had worked really hard and that they were they liked being recognized for that. And we want to do so much more of that for our teachers. I think um, we've only just begun to start to show our great teachers how much we appreciate them.